Welcome back to my YouTube series on the art of electronics questions. Today I'm going through exercise 1.38, which is on the Thevenin equivalent circuit, a topic which we have explored before. However, we are getting to the end of chapter one, where we are summarizing the different topics that we've learned through the chapter. So I'll guide you through this question. It is in two or three parts, depending on how you defined it. So let's dive in. The first part of the question says, find the Thevenin equivalent circuit for the circuit shown in figure 1.135. I will be showing this circuit later on. And the second part of the circuit asks you to compare the Thevenin equivalent circuit for this question to the circuit that we looked at in the previous question. If you want to know more about the circuit we covered in exercise 1.37, check out my previous video. We will be comparing the two circuits right at the end. The circuit given in figure 1.135 is shown on the screen now. There is basically a 0.5 milliamp current source in series with two 10K resistors, as you can see over here. The output of this circuit is from the top of the bottom resistor over here, and that is the output node. In order to find the Thevenin equivalent circuit, first of all, we need to remove any load resistors so this is basically the setup as you see it on the screen now. So we don't have any load resistors connected to this node here. And then we need to find the voltage that would appear on this node here. So this will be called the open circuit voltage. And we can also call this the Thevenin voltage. In this case, we can do that quite simply using Ohm's law. So see, we have a current source, 0.5 milliamps. So we know that 0.5 milliamps is going to go down this path over here. So 0.5 milliohms across a 10K resistor gives us 5 volts. So we OC or we open circuit voltage is 5 volts. Next, we need to short circuit the load resistor. So basically that's this node over here again. We need to short it to ground. So essentially what we are doing is connecting this resistor to ground as well. So we are shorting all of this path. After doing that, we need to find the short circuit current. However, in this circuit, because we have a current source, the current will also be 0.5 milliamps. After figuring out the short circuit current, we can finally find the last piece of the equation, which is the Thevenin equivalent resistance, or RTH. And RTH is given to us using Ohm's law, but we would be using VTH divided by ISC. So that's the Thevenin voltage divided by the short circuit current. So that's 5 volts divided by 0.5 milliamps, which gives us a Thevenin resistance of 10 kilo ohms. On the screen now, I have displayed the Thevenin equivalent circuit that we calculated for figure 1.135. So we have a voltage source with 5 volts with a series 10 kilo ohm resistor. So essentially what we are saying is we can represent a 0.5 milliamp current source and two 10k resistors with this setup over here. So no matter what load, we should get a similar result to what we would get in the circuit shown on figure 1.135. So the voltage source again is 5 volts and the series resistance is 10 kilo ohms. Keep this in mind for the second part of the question. For the second part of the question, we need to compare the Thevenin equivalent circuit for exercise 1.37 with the Thevenin equivalent circuit for exercise 1.38. So going through similar steps for the circuit that we discussed on exercise 1.37, we had a 10 volt source with two series 10K resistors and the final 10K resistor was in parallel with the load connection. So your V out is on this node over here. So similar to before, remove any load resistors. So disconnect this junction over here. Find the open circuit voltage which is on the output node over here. In this case, we have a potential divider with these two resistors over here, and the middle of the potential divider is our output voltage or our open circuit voltage. So 10 volts divided by two is equal to five volts as we have equal value resistors over here. We can also do it using this generic equation if we had different 10K resistors over here. So V1 is this voltage source here, and your V out is over here. V out is equal to V1 times R2 divided by R1 plus R2. So R2 is the bottom resistor, R1 plus R2 is the total resistance in the potential divider. So this gives us a open circuit voltage of five volts. Next, we need to short the load resistor. So that's basically connecting this point to ground and find the short circuit current. So we have a 10 volt power supply 
with a series 10 kilo ohm resistor connected to ground. So 10 divided by 10,000 gives us a short circuit current of 1 milliamp. And finally, we need to find the Thevenin equivalent resistance or RTH, which is equal to the V open circuit or VTH divided by ISC, which obviously our VTH was 5 volts and our ISC was 1 milliamp, which gives us a Thevenin equivalent resistance of 5 kilo ohms. Now, comparing the Thevenin equivalent circuits for both exercise 1.37 and exercise 1.38, essentially the circuits are not the same. We have the same supply voltage in 5 volts, however, the series resistance is 10 kilo ohms. So, why is the question asking us to compare the two circuits? Now, if you look at the first circuit and compare it with the second circuit, you can see that the current through both the 10k resistors is 0.5 milliamps. In the first circuit, you had a 10 volt power source with two 10K resistors, so 20 kilo ohms. So that would produce a current of 0.5 milliamps going up through it. In the second circuit, you had a 0.5 milliamp current source with two 10K resistors. So essentially, the power dissipation and the voltage across the two resistors would have been the same. However, when doing circuit analysis with a load resistor, the circuit behaves differently. So this is what the question is trying to highlight, that even though the current through those circuits were the same and the total resistance is the same, the Thevenin and equivalent circuits cannot be assumed to be the same, as you can see in this case over here. So that covers everything I need to for this question. Thank you for watching today. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget to like and share this video. Bye for now.